Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, I just wanted to reach out to a bunch of you guys and I see there's a lot of small channels that are struggling to get up to the thousand uh, subs, 4,000 hours of watch time, as so am I. I'm actually sitting about uh, a little over 700 right now. But I wanted to uh, reach out and let you guys know a few tricks that I have actually learned about being on YouTube. Number one, consistency. You want to uh, try and come up with a schedule for your fans and for your subscribers so they know kind of when to tune in. Um, I've got a couple of buddies on YouTube. Uh, one uploads every Thursday, one uploads um, on Tuesdays, you know, different stuff like that. If you're a new channel, I would really, really suggest uh, uploading as much as possible. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is your keywords and your tags. That's going to uh, kind of help you out a little bit. And um, as far as subscriptions, everybody wants to get, you know, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to this channel, all that. One small problem with that, guys. You can have all the subscriptions in the world. Doesn't mean anybody's going to watch your content. So what you need to do is you need to get A, the subscriptions, B, the views, and C, the consistency to where people are clicking onto your uh, videos and such. What you want to do is, uh, one thing that I've actually went over to doing is you want to make your videos a little bit longer than, you know, a couple, two, three minutes. You want to make them 5, 10, 15 minutes. It's going to uh, be kind of longer, you know, in the upload process, but uh, it's going to help you in the long run. Let me explain why. Because if you have a video, say it's minute, two minute, three minute, whatever like that, then uh, what's going to happen is, picture yourself as a viewer. You find a new channel. You see something on a thumbnail, something like that. <clears throat> are you going to want to click on that video and uh, are you going to want to watch it for say two, three minutes, something like that and then uh, have to go to another video, another video, stuff like that? You're not going to want to. Which, uh, what most people like to do is they like to sit on a video for 5, 10, 15 minutes, something like that so they don't have to keep clicking through the channels and such. Another thing you want to do is playlists. Playlists are good for burning up that 4,000 uh, hours of watch time because it's going to take them to video after video after video. If you get one person, uh, a variety of videos is good too because if you get one person that likes you know, one kind of video, you're just going to be going on that one area. Where if you have a couple, two, three different kinds of videos, you're going to get a little bit broader of an audience. Another thing, there is so many channels on there trying to get shout outs, stuff like that. Problem is, if you get a shout out from a channel, yeah, it might help you, but unless somebody subscribes right to your channel, you're liable to get lost in the channels as far as people trying to find you again. If your name is kind of weird, mine, you know, is kind of bad on that sense. I'm wishing I, you know, it kind of changed my name up a little bit. But, um, like, if you have a weird last name or weird, you know, first name or something like that, you know, it, it's going to be a little bit harder to find your channel if you go with like your name, something like that. It's going to be a little bit harder for people to say, you know, somebody on the other side of the world. They've never met you. They don't know your last name, how to spell it, stuff like that. Another good thing that I have really noticed and uh, one of my biggest secrets that I really use a lot is thumbnails. Now your thumbnail is going to be um, an eye catcher, it's going to be something, you don't want it to be clickbait because clickbait is going to be virtually a lie onto the video. you are got somebody that's looking all through YouTube, say they got a um, you know problem with their car or you know they miraculously find a unicorn or something like that somewhere. A lot of that stuff people are going to watch maybe you know two maybe three of your videos like that and if they start being clickbait people aren't really going to trust you so much so you really don't want to do clickbait you want to get um pictures of stuff that are uh you know related to the video that you're doing you want to have eye-catching ones uh, a lot of things i do is i'll take the picture put it right on there and then like a um bright background to catch the eye something like that's been helping me quite a bit um but you know it's kind of there there's a lot of people out here on youtube that are trying to give tips stuff like that and um i get a lot of people reaching out to me you know saying you know how are you guys doing it how you know how's your channel taking off i've been on youtube about three months and i like i said before you know i'm a little bit over 700 on the subscriptions but uh, there's a couple hidden networks. If you get into like the Kine app, I use that quite a bit. 
Um, it's real good for voiceover. It's real good for adding in pictures, stuff like that. I um, also have used Majesto. Uh, they charge per month on that, so I'm kind of, you know, iffy on that. But um, there's a lot of places, hidden networks out there, like, uh, say, you know, Facebook. If you go into Facebook, a lot of you guys are in, you know, to these groups, you know, your area buy, sell, trade, stuff like that. Go up to the top and search uh, subscribers in uh, different places. Like uh, YouTube subscriber group, stuff like that. There's a lot of groups out there, especially a lot of groups around the world. So you want to do stuff like that. I'm also on um, Twitter. I've gotten, um, that's worth probably about 25, maybe 30% of the subs coming in for me. Um, Reddit, I uh, picked up, you know, quite a few subs there um, you just got to read the rules know what the site does because a lot of them don't like when you post on there about um, you know say you know subscribe to my channel this that and the other thing but um, you know you just you got to find your niche and you also have to um, best thing is use social media to your advantage you've got Instagram I'm on there you've got Twitter you've got uh, reddit all these other places and the big thing is most of the apps that you use for filming and editing stuff like that most of them actually have their own forums and such i just got on tubebuddy probably about i want to say two weeks ago i'm going to wait another couple of videos before i give a review on that because i want to give it an honest review um you know see what kind of features it has stuff like that um you know and see you know if any of my traffic is actually coming from that direction so um you know it's basically on use as much social media to your advantage because it's free now there is places out there um, that you can buy subs and everybody gets all excited about those only problem is most of those buying subs are robots so when you get on somewhere and uh, YouTube decides to do your uh, you know verification to see make your affiliate program with the uh, certified with them to where you can start running ads and such like everybody's wanting to do they can actually you can actually get a lot of trouble by using robots so beware and read the fine print on some of these websites and such that you're getting on make sure that there's no robots and another thing collaboration Reach out and see if you can find uh, some people. One thing that I do and I am currently still doing is um, get on Instagram and uh, such and go on search channels instead of like DIY or cooking, you know, related to what subject you're looking up you want to watch. And then instead of putting just that word, type in channels. What that's going to do is bring up a lot of the other channels. You're going to get in the millions first, but you got to keep scrolling down. And, you know, eventually you'll get down to the subs, mid-sized channels. I call them mid-sized 15,000 to, you know, 25,000 mid-range subs. Bigger than I am, obviously. But, um, basically want to do that and uh, just, you know, reach out to some of these uh, people. Have you noticed that the big channels... If you look into the different people, if they got eight or nine people or five people or whatever that are all friends, you know, and making YouTube videos and they're all on camera together, have you noticed if you look at their names and search them that they all have channels and that they're just joining together to make one big channel? The more you know. All right, guys. Um, like I say this video I'm showing about uh, almost nine minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this here. And um, if you need any help, you know, with collaboration, stuff like that, or, um, you know, if you just want to follow me, something like that, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, um, different stuff like that, Reddit, uh, obviously YouTube channel. So you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you guys like this video, drop a like on it, you know, so I can kind of see which videos you guys are liking the most. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks. Have an awesome day.